simplest way to break down doing a successful push-up and even doing a regression to learn how to do push-ups with some assistance. Are you ready for the best push-up tutorial? Let's get into it. Okay, I know it's pretty basic stuff, but you know what? It's 2024 and maybe some people out there that don't know how to do a push-up or how to set up for one. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set up for a push-up. I've actually got a few videos from a few influencers. People have been like, hey, Johnny, is this right? Should you be doing it this way? And I'm like, I looked at something like, ah, let me just show you some basic stuff. Now, understand this, and I said this before a gazillion times, a push-up is a modified plank. What is a plank? Well, a plank is basically this. Your hands are gonna be stacked under your shoulders. So your hands, your wrists, elbows are gonna be under your shoulders while your legs are gonna come straight back, toes in the floor. They can be shoulders apart. I'm over top of my shoulders. We gotta be in the position where we're pushing away where our scaps are protracted or we can be in a retracted position Core is gonna be engaged. We don't want our butt to be like this, or like this, or like this. I see this all the time, this is bad. You wanna be here, core is tight. This is a plank. For anybody and everybody, this is a plank. A push-up is a modified plank. What do you mean? Well, my hands are in this position, which means when I do the push-up, so lowering ourselves to the ground, I was gonna go back, and then pressing up. Now, there's a lot of discrepancies with that because people are like, well, that's a close grip push-up. Now, we're doing push-ups, we want to work more triceps. We do want the elbows to go back because the triceps are going to be working that much more. And because of the orientation of where our hands are, we're not going to get much shoulder adduction, like so. So when we're doing a push-up like this, it is a little bit more tricep. It's not a close grip. It's just because the orientation of our hands and where elbows are going, we are going to do a lot more tricep than we are chest. But there's nothing wrong with this. Now, what if I want to work my chest? Well. For our chest to work, we need this to do this. So how do you do that? Well, same way we did the plank in that position from here, all we're gonna do here now is we're gonna open up a bit. A little outside, shoulder width apart. And then our elbow's gonna go slightly out a bit. And then we're gonna put ourselves in that position again, put our feet back. And from here, we're pressing down and pressing up. And we're getting a good amount of stretch at the bottom and pressing the top. You can see the difference between elbows going out or being closer and elbows going back. A couple things. What if my wrists hurt really bad when I do push-ups? Work on your mobility, but in the meantime, I have to do a couple things. Some of my favorite ways to do push-ups is to basically get some dumbbells. Get the smallest pair of dumbbells you have and that will kind of put you in a position where it's almost like you're holding a bar. So we can take those same push-ups we were doing before where the elbows are going back, and we can put our hands on here so our fists are going down. And from here, the same thing. We can angle them a little bit. So while I push them outside for a little more chest, I can angle them a bit too and be a little more precise. So when I set up from here, my arms are basically pressing just like they would if I was doing a bench press with dumbbells. Same idea. Now, what about the people who can't do a push-up? What do they do? Go on their knees? I suggest never doing push-ups on your knees. When I see people do push-ups on their knees, it ends up doing like this. It looks like this. That's not how you're supposed to do them. You're actually supposed to do them like this, hips down, and pushing from here and pushing up. That's how you're supposed to do them, not like this, or just riding your shoulders. So I'm not a big fan of doing push-ups from the ground. Hey, what's up guys? My Iron Shepherd's Iron Beanies are out right now in camel, charcoal, and gray. And they're moving fast. So guys, hit the link in the description below and get yours now. So if you can't do push-ups, I don't suggest doing them from your knee. And if you're in the gym, most gyms have Smith machines. Now this is a different one, but nonetheless, it's a Smith machine. What we wanna do is we wanna put this at a level that allows you to still do the push-up in that plank position. So for someone who is not that strong at all. We can do the same thing here. We can put our hands where they need to be here and I suggest starting from the actual bar. So what I mean by that is, get yourself in the position where you're on your toes, almost like you're doing a plank. So make sure it already is lined up on your chest. So then I can put my feet back and from there, I'm pressing back. I draw myself in 
and then pressing back. And we're doing this until it's super easy. And for some people to watch it like, that's super easy, but some other people just can't do push-ups. And we have to find a way for them to be able to do push-ups and progress to doing a push-up on their own. So you start here. And then after a few weeks, you lower it a bit. And now you're down here. And then you've progressive all a little bit more. And you lower it even lower. And you're starting to get excited because you're getting closer and closer to the ground. And then by the time you know it, you're on the ground doing push-ups. From just starting with the Smith machine. Cool. Now, if the Smith machine isn't available, this is something I've used with my clients to help them do a push-up with some assistance. Using a band on the rack is gonna help you get to the bottom, come back up. How to know where to put the resistance bands? Super simple. Sit your arm here against where the rack is and at the top of your shoulder, that's basically where you want the rack to be. That's gonna give you some resistance help. So when I put it on from here, now from here what I wanna do is, I don't wanna have this stuck right here under my armpits because that's just gonna get in the way. You can see how everything is kind of in the way. And for the most part, it's not that people need help here, it's more so that it's keeping their core engaged and their core up while leaving the push up. So what we wanna do is we wanna lay ourselves closer down to by our stomach area from here, right by the core. The core is engaged, our hands are stacked, and on the way down, we're getting help right where the place where we're gonna, where most people fail, and usually it's this. So we can get some help from here and then pressing on the way down. And then as you go week to week, it gets super easy. You start off at shoulder height, then the week after, maybe you're putting it down a little bit more and more and more until in the ground, and then you're actually doing a full push up. So there's my quick and easiest, simplest way to break down doing a successful push-up and even doing a regression to learn how to do push-ups with some assistance and then be able to progress and then get down to the floor to do it on your own with your body weight. So give that a try. Next time you wanna do push-ups and add that to your programming, give it a try, start it now, work your way up, progressive overload on a week-to-week -week basis. And I'll see you on the ground doing body weight push-ups in no time. And anyway, guys, for more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, you know how it is, Iron Sharp Design, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep gym chasing. Yeah.